What's up guys, this is Kalani Ball Free, and today we're gonna learn how to do the diamond cutter. Hey, so um, I did a tutorial video on, um, I forgot, one of my tutorials, and someone commented down below, and they said they wanted to learn the diamond cutter. Actually, I did a tutorial already, maybe like four or five years ago, on how to do the diamond cutter, uh, but I'm gonna make a new one right now. Okay, so the diamond cutter, um, what you're gonna have to do is, you gotta, you gotta know how to do a chest roll. So if, I, if you guys don't know how to do a chest roll, or an arm roll, whatever they, you guys wanna call it, um, go back to my tutorial, how to do an arm roll, or how to do a chest roll. I have two different videos, the same uh, lessons, and you master level two. Uh, so level two is palm facing down. Level one is palm facing up. This is palm facing up, palm facing down. This is level two, okay? So go back to that. Learn how to do a chest roll. Master level two, okay? Because that's gonna help you do uh, the diamond cutter. So what, what I want you to do uh, for the diamond cutter is, so what you wanna master on the chest roll or arm roll level two is when you have your palm facing down, I told you guys to have um, balance the ball. So you, what you're gonna do is have your palm facing down, but bend your fingers as high as you can. This is the highest I can though. And so it gives you the balance. So you wanna work on balancing the ball with palm facing down. And it helps if you put your fingers up. All right, same with the other hand. Work on both hands. So practice both hands. All right, and so, it's gonna be like the same like the chest roll, like boom, hold it, pass it, boom. Like you have full control on everything. So it's the same movement, except you're doing it this way, all right? Except you're just going higher, okay? So um, what I like to do is, when I first start it, is either you can do it two different ways when you're still learning. You can either place it on your neck if you know how to do this, and then you start turning, Okay. Or you can just have the ball here and then turn, let it, have the ball here, let go of your hand and let it roll while you turn, okay? All right, so, and when you're um, turning, what I like to do is, so say this is your feet, just pivot. Stay in one area. So you guys know how to pivot, right? Stay in one area. So you just take little steps, pivoting in one little area. All right? Don't go all around, moving all around. So stay uh, pivoting like this. If this is your feet, and just keep going and going and going, okay? Let me see, let's see if I can pull this down a little more. Let me show you guys my feet. Bam, so just pivot. All right? If that doesn't work, then try, you can take little steps like this. All right? And try and stay in uh, one spot. That's gonna really help you guys, okay? Because then you can have a really good momentum on turning. Hold on, guys. All right. So the next step after you guys get that down, turn it around a little bit, a little bit. So then you can start doing the, the movement. So let me just go over real quick. Step one, master this. All right, like holding it and controlling it. Step two, you wanna work on those footsteps just staying in one area. All right, and bend your knees. Uh, and step three, we're gonna just try it. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna have it here. Not a lot of you guys can do the neck, so here we go. Put it, place it here, you're gonna throw it a little bit so you get the momentum going with you. Um, and so what you wanna do is, when you're doing it, it's a little bit different from the chest roll, but when you're up here, you're gonna have your fingers kinda touching like that. So it makes a clear path, okay? All right, instead of like, you know, the chest roll's a little separated, but you want to keep it close like this. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. And you see my hands are 
together, taking small little steps, helping the movement. And also you can control it, see? Control it, control it. Control it. Ooh, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm getting dizzy. So, um, <laughs> so that's how you pretty much do a diamond cutter. It's pretty much like a basic chest roll, um, the level two chest roll, uh, but apply it going higher. And sometimes you can use your head. You see how, how I use my head over here? As support. As support. And then see, it helps you even balance it even better. See? And that's how you pretty much do a diamond cutter. Um, hopefully I explained it well enough. And uh, give it a try. Uh, let me just review it one more time. And then we're gonna do some tricks with the diamond cutter and show you some different variation of, of the diamond cutter. So again, level two chest roll, work on that. Work on stepping around in a circle, little steps or pivoting. And get the ball over here. And again, you can use your you can use your head to help balance it a bit like this. Alright, so here we go again. Boom. And keep your hands close. Bend your knees. And there you go. And that is the diamond cutter. Give it a try. It's not gonna be easy if you don't know how to do a chest row. It's not gonna be easy the first time you do things. So just keep practicing um, and keep working on it. All right, uh, comment down below what else you guys wanna learn and also um, what tricks or something, tutorial, any, anything you guys wanna learn, anything you want me to do, uh, comment down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and share it to a friend. Uh, who likes basketball and wants to learn basketball tricks or just likes basketball in general um, and you guys want to expand your game from basic to advanced etc it's a fun like people some people don't think this is a good way to do basketball but it's a fun way to do drills and being unique and different and being unique and different and approaching the game differently will make you um, pretty much unpredictable and that's what you want to be is unpredictable all right, so make sure you guys subscribe, comment down below, like this video, share it to a friend, and that is how you do a diamond cutter. And keep practicing and practicing and practicing, and I'm sure you're gonna get it down. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys some variations of how to do the diamond cutter. So there's actually different variations. You can get in a flow. So you wanna get in a flow, boom. And then you can roll it, going up, so that's a transition you can do. Another transition, get on your neck like I said. Spin. All right, you can even do one hand. Look at this, controlling with one hand. Controlling with one hand. And even going around, hold on, around with one hand. I'm not very good at this, but you can do one hand. And then go back to two. Dang. <laughs> So there's a lot of variation. And once you get this uh, hand down, having your palm facing down and having this control on the diamond cutter, you can also go in back and forth like this. Having that control, deciding when to do the diamond cutter. All right. So that's pretty much how you do the diamond cutter and th those are some variations and the benefits of the diamond cutter. They're a great crowd pleaser and great to entertain your friends. Try it out and it's a good ball high skill. Try it out and again guys, subscribe, follow me and comment, out, comment down below what else you guys wanna learn and love you guys. Peace. And Kalani Ball Free is out. you guys next time and make sure you guys subscribe follow me and uh let's go and comment down below and i'll try to figure out what else i want you guys want me to teach you guys or i can try something new on myself all right guys i'm talking too much i'm a little dizzy right now love you guys catch you catch you later peace bye bye
Deuces.